I told you. Every single one of you sitting at home watching this show, I told you. Everybody that comes to see an event with Zane Dawson on it, I told you. Casey McKnight is sitting in Tampa right now. I told you. Charlie Dreamer, you know how long I've worked for this belt. You know how long I've been trying to get it. And you think you're gonna come and take it from me? I take stuff. I took this. I took over the Mid-Atlantic. Charlie Dreamer, tonight, I'm going to take you out. Think you have a shot at this? Think again. Keep dreaming. Welcome to Midnight Mayhem, Zane Dawson coming to the ring, the current ACPW heavyweight champion. Folks, we have seen Zane Dawson take down Casey McKnight, but who better to take the place of Casey McKnight in Midnight Mayhem? Charlie Dreamer. The fans love Charlie Dreamer. Those two have had a little bit of history together. Last time we saw these two in the ring together was in Dirty South Wrestling. And uh, Zane Dawson caused a little bit of what we call a riot on Midnight Mayhem. He pulled somebody out of their chair. It, it was a little bit messy. Harold Britt got involved. Speaking of Harold Britt, Cheryl right here. The Brad and Angelina of Midnight Mayhem. Zane Dawson is a man on a mission now. He wants to keep that beautiful gold belt around his waist. And he will stop at nothing to get that title to stay around his waist. As you can tell tonight, I am once again alone. I I have nobody to join me tonight. Brock Knox still on suspension. I haven't we haven't heard from Brock Knox in a little while. Charlie Dreamer coming down to the ring. Charlie Dreamer, here's your man. Here's your man that you want to see the current you want him to beat Zayn Dawson. You want him to be the new ACPW heavyweight champion. Look, if he's endorsed by Cheryl, I believe you've got something going for you. Folks, now Charlie Dreamer is going to be Aaron. Hey, wait a minute. Hey. Buddy. What, what is this? Folks, what is fancy mean you here? Uh, thanks for letting me know there's a, there's a Midnight Man match going on. And uh, folks, uh, he, he doesn't return my calls. Uh, I, I leave him texts. I send him emails. I even tried to FaceTime a couple times. FaceTime? You don't even have an iPhone. I, I tried. I used my mother's again. Your but mother doesn't have an iPhone. She did for a couple weeks. She didn't like it. She went back. But I, I thought the creditors took it away from her. It's, that's not the point. You didn't answer my calls, and uh, I'm here. I'm here. I, the, the people have spoken. I've seen the Midnight Mayhem posts on Facebook. Which where's, was nobody. Where's Brock Knox? I'm, I'm sure uh, someone was asking. No. Someone was asking. Nobody and was asking. So I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit right here, right here next to you, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna commentate. Colorly, this matchup that's coming on between Charlie Dreamer and uh, Zane Dawson, the biggest, baddest man uh, that I've ever met in my life. He made a fool of me, but we've uh, made amends. Well, folks, this matchup is going to be a great matchup. Uh, unfortunately, we've got Brock Knox. Are you going to introduce me now or what? 
Brock Knox is here with us tonight for the first time in two months after the controversy that you stole the footage from the Xavier Rush match, and I had to suspend you for it. That was footage that needed to be stolen. Why? I mean, did Brock, Brock, did, did Xavier pay you off? Fifth. Fifth? I pleaded. Fifth? I pleaded. Folks, they are tying up. Let's get let's get back to what's more important right now. Who cares about Brock Knox? A wrist lock, right? I mean, a, 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 this you, matchup's underway. I, I am so flustered right now, I don't know what to do. You are flustered, huh? Yeah, yeah well... You should be happy that I'm back, to be honest Well, you're not adding anything to this matchup. Am I Charlie still under suspension? No. Oh, yes. Yeah. See? Thank you, folks. Brock Knox will be out here. Move over, please, Aaron, if we could. Get right in here. Thank you. Look at the eyes of Zane Dawson. Zane Dawson is ready to keep that belt around his waist, folks. Zane Dawson is an evil man. He is the brother of Dave Dawson. Dave Dawson, the good Dawson, the able to Zane Dawson's cane. Charlie Dreamer going for the arm wrench right there. Zane Dawson is swinging and a miss. Now we see Zane Dawson week after week use that right arm for the Larry. Yeah, he does. And, and, and it's absolutely brutal the way he gets in, but these two right now just matching up. It's just sizing each other up. You know, going toe for toe. And right now, Charlie Dreamer is getting the upper hand. Got Zane Dawson just pinned down right on his face. That's hurting, but Zane's got the ropes. He's a he's a seasoned veteran. He knows how it goes. Zane Dawson, smart maneuver right there, trying to, to get out of the, the hold that Charlie Dreamer put him in. Zane Dawson is gathering his wits, getting a game plan together to make sure that when he walks out of this ring, that he still has that ACPW Heavyweight Championship around his waist. But much to the chagrin of Cheryl. Yeah, yeah, Cheryl right now, uh, they're just becoming, you know, speaking of Mia's fan favorites, uh, Cheryl, to be honest with you, I think is one of the fan favorites that are out here. But speaking of Zane Dawson, I think, you know, when he's walking out there in the ring and you think he's gathering his wits, it's all part of his plan. He's got a master plan that he's definitely going to have uh, out here tonight. You see him right there with the big boot to the gut of uh, Charlie Dreamer. Oh, but Charlie Dreamer coming right back. Charlie Dreamer going right back to that left arm of Zane Dawson. You know, if Zane Dawson doesn't have those arms, he's not going to be able to use the lariat against him. Smart, smart ring work right now. Zane Dawson, keeping Zane Dawson away from that rope. Charlie Dreamer knows what he's doing. He, he definitely does. He's just twisting right there. But you see the right arm coming up. Oh, and Charlie Dreamer misses it. But he's got that elbow coming back. And here comes Zane Dawson. Oh, but face plan. Right there. Charlie Dreamer with a nice drop toe hold and going right back to the arm of Zane Dawson. But yeah, I, I don't understand what Charlie's doing. I think he's working on the left arm of Zane Dawson. And, and for, for the life of me, I can't understand why. The right arm is what Charlie needs to be worried about. Exactly. Thank you, Brock Knox there, everybody. Brock Knox paying attention instead of taking the money like you've been doing here on Midnight Mayhem. Taking the money, taking the payoff, payola. If you've uh, seen the movie Quiz Show. I, I, I don't exactly know what you're talking about. I haven't seen any money. Uh, being, it's unethical. Uh, I, I don't know what ethics are. What is that? Me no no ethics. Yes. Yeah, oh, big right arm. You see what I'm talking about? That right arm of Zane Dawson is what Charlie has to worry about. Uh, the right arm and the right leg going to come right at him with the right foot. Just kicking him right now when he's down. And uh, things aren't looking good for Charlie Dreamer. Zane Dawson, just the eye of the tiger right now. He looks like he is is very pumped up in this matchup. Charlie Dreamer trying to, to hold him any way he can. But Char look at Charlie Dreamer able to take Zane Dawson down with that headlock takeover. Yeah, he was. It was just looked like Zane was just going to body slam him right there. But uh, Charlie had it uh, just holding on for, uh, for dear life. Folks, we have this matchup, more of this matchup coming up. Brock Knox, Aaron Varnum, we'll be right back.
Welcome back to Midnight Mayhem. Charlie Dreamer still with that side headlock on Zane Dawson. Zane Dawson, precarious position. Zane Dawson throwing Charlie Dreamer off the ropes, but holding him by his tights, folks. Charlie Dreamer getting nailed in the back twice. Uh, this is not looking good at all for Charlie right now. That's got to be hurting right now, and Zane Dawson is really uh, just focusing on that back of Charlie Dreamer. And uh, Folks, I just hope he's able to walk after this. Uh, not going to look good. The man just got married, and, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's probably wanting to start a family right now. Uh, Zane Dawson could care less. Zane Dawson only has one thing on his mind, and that is ACPW heavyweight gold. Zane Dawson wants to keep that belt around his waist. He is King Midas here on Midnight Mayhem. Everything he touches, he wants to keep gold. Uh, King Midas, so he works at a muffler store? I, I, I'm not... Speaking of muffler stores, didn't you work at one while you were gone? I, uh, I worked at a, a many a different places. I stayed, oh, we gotta get a quick count on uh, Zane right there. Stayed at a couple places, uh, to be honest with you. I, and actually, I wanted to tell you, oh, gotta rip in the eyes out. Just and not good. Not good right now for uh, either play. I mean, either wrestle right now. We got Zane trying to get the pin, or Charlie getting the pin on Zane. And then Zane Dawson using just any which way but loose, trying he to is, just trying to get out of that scratching, pin, scratching, clawing, and all. And then he's head scissors. Oh my goodness, you can't breathe in one of those things. And if you you, you don't want to breathe because the smell is so bad right there in Zane Dawson's area. Folks, Zane Dawson keeping Charlie Dreamer at bay. The ref still counting it off, making sure Charlie Dreamer is still cognizant, able to, to work this matchup. Charlie Dreamer getting those great Midnight Mayhem fans behind him. The ref says no way. Charlie Dreamer has not given up yet. Zane Dawson still applying the pressure. Charlie Dreamer trying to get those great fans behind him. Folks, this matchup is very interesting so far. It is right now. You see Charlie just, just trying to get everything that he can, just using every bit of himself to, to try to get out of this little uh, leg lock. That, uh, oh, and he got out of it. Zane, Charlie coming up, and then down goes Zane. Zane Dawson being taken down by another side headlock takeover. Charlie Dreamer in the alpha male position. He is on top right now, folks. Going for the pin right now. One, two, just a one count, folks. Charlie Dreamer still has some work to do. Yeah, he does right now. He was in that same position before they got the leg lock, and right now he's going for a ride. Oh, Zane Dawson with the big back elbow. Look at Brock Knox coming back refreshed. Perhaps Brock Knox watched some wrestling tapes I to learn about wrestling. I, there was a lot of time that I had on my hands. Uh, a few weeks I actually spent in uh, the lair. What, what do you mean, the lair? I, I was in Daniel Messina's uh, lair. Uh, he let me stay there for about a, a week and a half. And uh, yeah, to be honest with you, you know, after the first day, you're, you're looking for the exit sign. But it's, it's much like, you know, uh, to be honest with you, Hotel California. What do you mean, Hotel California? Yeah, opium den. Do you know what that is? I know what an opium... Are you saying that Daniel Messina runs an opium den? No, I'm not saying that, but he has Kiss Pinball, and it's just as bad as opium. You, you, you can't walk away from it. You really can't. Oh, my God. Are, are you serious? That's where you've been the whole time? Uh, most of the time. And there, you, there's no quarters that are needed. I told you this before. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Did you at least beat it? No. I didn't beat the game. Did the star child beat you? The, the star child beat me, and uh, Gene Simmons always gets the better of you. And you can you can ask anybody that. It's that tongue. Charlie Dreamer taking it out on Zane right now. Zane Dawson ripping at the eyes of Charlie Dreamer. Charlie Dreamer swinging around wildly. Cannot see. Charlie Dreamer in a bad place right now. Zane Dawson raining blows down on Charlie. Oh, uh, right now it's just uh, he, he saw he should have got that right arm. He should have worked on, but he's working on the left arm. Uh, maybe uh, Charlie Dreamer is dyslexic when it comes to right and left. Folks, I, I, I'm not sure about this. I, I don't know, but Harold Britt is keeping a close eye on this matchup to make sure that Zane Dawson is following the rules. Charlie Dreamer going back and forth right now. Another rake to the eyes. Now, Zane Dawson, I'm not sure why, why the ref is not calling this, why he's not seeing the rake to the eyes. Well, well, then again, if you were a ref, would you call Zane Dawson out for anything he did illegally? Uh, probably not. Uh, you know, right now, uh, he's he's just a big man with a lot on his side. And, oh, big spine buster by Zane Dawson. Zane Dawson looking to put Dreamer away. Yeah, he definitely is right now. Both these men just want to try to catch their win right now, seeing if they got all their teeth and toes. Uh, 
But uh, just not looking good for Charlie Dreamer. And Charlie Dreamer is down. Got the count. One, two. Oh, close. This was about to be over, folks. Zane Dawson hooking the leg right there. A very, a very aggressive pin attempt right now. Going right back. Choking. The life out of Charlie Dreamer. The ref says no way, sir. That is not in the rule book. Count of five. Zane Dawson letting go. I'm surprised, but, but you, then again. Can you choke for five seconds? Uh, you can hold it for five seconds. Okay. Folks, we've got a, a, another commercial break. This match ends in a second. Welcome back to Midnight Mayhem. Zane Dawson still right here with that 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 neck lock on Charlie Dreamer right now, wrenching it, trying to take all the air out of the airwaves of Charlie Dreamer, trying to make him give up in this matchup, trying to make him pass out so he can keep that belt around his waist. Uh, you know, definitely right now, with the, the man on the top, uh, you, you, you sometimes, you know, lose it. You know, the eye of the tiger or, you know, whatever you want to call it, you lose that edge, but... You know, looking at Zane Dawson here tonight, there's no loss of the edge that's actually got to him right now. But, you know, when you're at the top, everybody wants to take you down. And the, the dreamer is, uh, it's not a dream for him. He's, you know, it's right in his sights right now. And he definitely wants that belt. Charlie Dreamer off the ropes, going under the clothesline. Going over to the clothesline one more time, but a big bruiser Brody boot to the face of Charlie Dreamer. And that's it, folks. One, two, Charlie Dreamer. By the skin of his teeth. He does, he does. And that was a close call. Uh, and uh, Charlie Dreamer is fighting for his life in this ring right now because there's not a lot of people that are going to get back up after uh, a knock to the forehead like that with the, the boot of Zane Dawson. He's right now, he's going for a, a scrape. He's, he's just the... raking his eyes against the, the ropes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now, the thing about this, this is actually Zane Dawson's very first title defense. And this is a tough, tough, competitor to have as your first number one contender. Yeah, Charlie Dreamer is no, uh, you know, no joke. He, he definitely got it right now, and right now... He's just, just look at the meanness in Zane Dawson. Just raking him over the eyes right there, and oh, boy. Ding dong. See, that's the difference. You see, Charlie Dreamer right there is, is a very nice guy. We've seen him have a little bit of an edge to him. But Zane Dawson... You, you look at look at Zane Dawson compared to Casey McKnight as the champion. Casey McKnight is the champion. He would go in to the ring. He would he would go bell to bell, and he would beat you with technique. Zane Dawson beats you with meanness. He definitely up. Maybe that's his that's his thing. You know, everybody's got their thing to be in the ring with, and right now it seems to be working for Zane Dawson. And you know, everything seems to be working. I'm glad to be sitting here next to you. You know, you you let me. Come I, I don't here. know if what what you do would be considered work. Uh, yeah, it's 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 glad. I'm glad you got me to come here and distract you. I mean, I mean, sit next to you. Distract me. I I, I I didn't mean that. I didn't mean distract. I mean, sit next to you. You know, there's there's things that I I, I wanted to see tonight, and uh, I'm glad I'm here. Well, I'm glad you're here too. But 
Did I just say that? Yeah, I think you did. I think you did. You, you missed me. I did kind of. You got you. a little tingly, if you know what I mean. Going against the gut right there. Big shoulder block into the middle, the midsection of Charlie Dreamer. Another to the Charlie Dreamer's midsection, folks. Charlie Dreamer, is he's just taking a lot of punishment tonight. He is right now, and uh, it's it's not looking good. Zane Dawson has gotten the upper hand, but, but really, you can't sleep on Charlie Dreamer because when you think he's down... Uh, uh, he, he comes right back at you, and uh, you're going to go sweet dreaming in, into the night if you don't... Uh... Well, watch out for that, yeah. that kick. Yeah. <clears throat> Zane Dawson, is, he was jawing at the fans when he, he needs to get business done. He He's calling for the end of Charlie Dreamer right now. I think he's setting him up for some sort of some maneuver that can go straight into the lariat. Oh, yes, I, I think so <laughs> right now. And uh, just while I got you, I wanted to talk to you about this uh, replacement guy. Roddy, Roddy, uh... Roddy Hanson? Roddy Hanson. What who what kind of name is that? I don't what kind of name is Brock Knox? A beautiful name. Beautiful name. Alright. Roddy Hanson sounds like something a teenage girl threw up uh, in the back of a high school parking lot. It's terrible. That's the worst analogy I've ever heard. It's it's a terrible name, Roddy Hanson. Folks, I I am I, maybe I'm not thankful for him coming back. Zane Dawson setting up Charlie Dreamer up top. On the top turnbuckle right there, trying to get the Midnight Mayhem fans behind him. But I think he did that in a mocking way. Yeah. I don't think he was serious. I, I think he doesn't care about what they th think about him. Uh, right now, he, sh he shouldn't be caring right now because Charlie Dreamer uh, trying to come back right now. Oh, big elbow from Charlie. He's coming back. Oh, nice little move from Charlie. Charlie Dreamer going off the ropes, and y you see why the fans love him. Charlie Dreamer is a man that'll go in there, and he'll fly around. He is a very well-versed wrestler, and he knows that if he can win this matchup right now, he will have that title around his waist. Uh, and right now, he's uh, doing everything that he can, and oh, sweep! Big leg sweep, and he's going for the cover right there. Charlie, you gotta hook the legs, buddy. You got to put all that pressure on Zane Dawson. He's a big boy, and he can get out of mostly anything. Yeah, he definitely can, and Charlie right now is trying to get the folks himself uh, into this matchup. Not a lot with Zane was going on, but uh, Charlie's definitely got the folks in it. And oh, 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 nice move. Neck, neck breaker by Charlie Dreamer. Pin, two, not enough. Zane Dawson, still the ACPW heavyweight champion. There's probably only one move to, that will actually put Zane down out for the count. And that's what he's setting up for right now. But who is, is this why you were just going to distract me? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, hey, Xavier's here. Oh, hey, Xavier's here. I didn't even uh, I know he was here. Another neck breaker wow. by Charlie Dreamer. It's good to see Xavier again for the first time ever in a very long time. Why are you going to say it like that? I, I don't. Your you inflection like in what? your voice sounds like... You have seen him very recently. I haven't seen him very at all. I haven't. He looks like he's he's, he's waiting on Charlie Dreamer to put that super kick in there, but it looks he's grabbing the leg, and folks, he's coming. He, Zane Dawson with the with the trunks. One, two, three. Oh my goodness! It's just oh, I, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe it. Why do you got to say it with that kind of inflection? I I I can't believe that Xavier has come back and uh, helped out Zane. I can't believe it. I mean, are these guys working together? Did, did he pay you off again? Did, again? What do you mean again? Keep he doesn't pay me off to begin with. I mean. Zane Dawson says, keep on dreaming, Charlie. Charlie Dreamer with a very, very, I, I, I don't know. This man right there. And look at Charlie Dreamer. Charlie Dreamer grabbing your man by the hair. And folks, this is not a wrestling match. This is not sanctioned. This is a street fight. This is a brawl right now between two men. And uh, right now, uh, oh, Xavier, just get into the ref. He might get a fine from the Midnight Mayhem uh, League there. Uh, and, and, and here comes the Calvary to kind of pull these men apart. But it looks like, folks, I don't know what's going on right now. This is m Mayhem on Midnight Mayhem. Bedlam. Bedlam on Mayhem. You know, glad to be back. Am I still under suspension? No, but we're going to find out what you did here in a couple seconds while you were away. We're going to find out. Thank you for watching. Tune in next week. I, uh, maybe I'll be here. Maybe I won't. Do I wish? What do you mean, do I wish? Do I wish I'd never gotten involved with Midnight Mayhem? After what I know now, after losing my wife and kids, 
after losing everything. Yeah, I wish I'd never gotten involved in Midnight Mayhem. Yeah, yeah. Did I take a payoff? Allegedly. That's what people say. If people want to say it, people are going to say it. What can I do? I can't stop them. You know, uh, this is this is uh, where it's, it's brought me. You know, this is the vehicle I use now. You know, this is what I drive. I drive a John Deere tractor to places I have to go. Yeah, that's what I do. Is it any fun? No, it's not fun. I'm that guy driving down the street you gotta go around who's going 15 miles an hour. I'm that guy, Brock Knox. I have to cover my face when I go places, so I have to put a mask on top of my mask. It's not any good, it's not any good. I use these dressers as things and see, I don't even have things right now. I don't have things, they're all gone. My wife's taking them. I hope she's doing well, I sleep. I sleep here, I sleep here. Take it, cameraman, right here. This is where I sleep, I sleep on wood. Has anybody ever slept on wood? No, you haven't, you haven't. Cause it doesn't feel good, not at all. You know, I did some things, I'm not proud of them. I'm not proud of them, you may never see me again because of what I've done. Did I steal some footage? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And right now, it's what I had to do for me and mine. And it's nobody's fault but Brock Knox's.